let me show you exactly how to sound like this in Premiere Pro. So I have my little test video on the track. Let me go ahead and play it real quick so you know what it sounds like before. This is a test for the mic filters in Premiere Pro. And as you can hear, it sounds pretty decent, but I'm gonna show you how to even make it better. So you're gonna go underneath your effects panel and you're gonna search up for the parametric equalizer, which is right here, and then just drag it to your audio. Don't touch anything yet. We're gonna add other effects to the audio. The next one we are going to add is a single band compressor. And finally, we're just going to add a simple denoise. I would recommend putting the effects in this order. This is what can make the microphone the best it possibly can be. So the first thing we're going to do is go underneath the parametric equalizer and click on edit. Edit, and all you're going to do is go underneath your presets and change it to voice enhancer and then it's supposed to do this weird kind of roller coaster line i recommend putting the bottom line to around the 40 mark and then i would set number three to 300 and then finally i would recommend lowering the h to around 13 and so now this is what my microphone sounds like with just the parametric equalizer this is a test for the mic filters in Premiere Pro. As you can see, it has a lot more depth, it has a lot more bass. The next thing we're going to add is a single band compressor. And once you're in the compressor, just go to the presets and set it to the voice thickener. And the only thing changing under here is the gain. I will set it to around nine because sometimes it gets a little too loud. So now this is what the audio sounds like with the equalizer and the compressor on. This is a test for the mic filters in Premiere Pro. It pretty much just makes your voice sound more detailed if that's a thing. And finally, we're just going to add a denoise. Just go underneath the edit and I recommend setting the percentage to around 30%. But obviously, if you hear some other noise in the background, just up it a little bit more. I would recommend keep it around 30 to 40% and pretty much denoise is going to get rid of any background noise. So now let's finally hear the final product. This is a test for the mic filters in Premiere Pro. And finally, the last step is to hit the subscribe button, obviously. Other than that, I hope you have a good day. Peace out.